then you better, you gonna get a clue around this month. People are making money. The reason why you ain't, they don't understand that. They don't understand that. Yo, welcome back to the channel. Work in progress, where the progress works just as hard as you do. And yes, I am back with another video. Man, today has been a wonderful day. Check it out. Check it out. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Let me illuminate the spot real quick. Bam. Boy, got the bedding together. Got the bed together. Oh, and by the way, mandatory. Mandatory. You guys need one of these for sure. See, I got the, I'm lucky. I got the one with the two, two burns. Two bad boy burns. Yes, sir. Oh, and you gotta have the ninja. You gotta have the ninja machine. Yes, sir. You need that for sure. For the smoothies, you know, vegetable shakes, man. Cause you guys gotta stay healthy, man. You guys out here eating unhealthy. It's gonna catch up to you, man. It's gonna catch up to you. Probably already has. But anyways, we're here, man. We're here. We're in the truck. We're in the truck. And we are in the truck that Peter built. Sorry about the trash on the dash. I'm actually gonna clean it up here in about a couple of minutes. As soon as I get done with the video, but I want to show you guys some stuff that has been done to the truck. The guy has upgraded a lot of stuff. The person who had this before me did a lot of stuff before me. So uh, I'm gonna go over that right now. Check it out. So let's start with the wheels. It's got the black wheels. Compared to the chrome, I love the black ones. I just gotta clean them up a little bit. Also, black grill. It's got the grill black. Wonderful selection. Love it with the color scheme. Good metal gray with the black. It's beautiful. Black deer guard. Oh, and one thing that I've, I've noticed that my trainer um, had pointed out to me, it actually has a deer, uh, was this, a deer whistler. So it pretty much keeps deer away from me. Because my last job, I actually, ran over a deer <laughs> and it didn't the truck didn't have a deer guard so um yeah i'm pretty sure the company felt that but anyways last guy went and got one of these look like uh like bike pegs but um yeah pretty nice something different never seen it before by the way like i said it's got the black wheels gotta get them clean and this right here the paint's coming off a little bit i can get that redone if i just wanted to you know, if everything goes right with the truck, by the end, uh, by the end of the lease, I will be purchasing it 100% in my name. Um, I get a feeling there's more stuff done to the truck, but uh, those are the only things that I've seen uh, visually that I know that he or she has done to the truck. But yeah, like I said, I love the black wheels. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And it just looks stupid nice. Halogen lights, by the way. So, and uh, come to find out, we just got some new 2023 Kenworths on the lot. And let me tell you, I got a sneak peek of it yesterday. Man, I I might have to, you know, I didn't sign my lease contract yet, but hey, I might have to hold off on that, man, because that thing looking very luxurious. You know, right here on the, on the Kenworth, it's all padded. Like it's like Lamborghini type padded too. Like it's crazy, crazy. So yeah guys, I'm, at, I'm finna go to the cafeteria real quick. Catch me a ribeye steak <laughs> real quick. Show you how I'm really eating over here at Prime, man. Some of you guys ain't even eating like that at the house. So, um, you know, Prime Time certified. If you don't know, if you don't know, then you better, you gonna get a clue around this mug. So yeah, man, we're gonna turn up this year. 2023 is our year. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. Don't let anybody tell you anything negative about Prime because there are people doing really, really well and there are people who are doing really, really bad. Let me tell you a little something, something about people who are doing really, really bad because they're, they're, the people who are doing really, really bad will tell you exactly why not to come to Prime. But let me tell you the reason why they're doing really bad. Two reasons why they'll tell you not to come to Prime. Oh, uh, they're not make, you know, Prime don't make any money. And that's been the whole thing ever since Prime has been, you know, been existing is that oh don't make any money every everybody in the, every there's a there's truck drivers in every single company oh they don't make any money you know and they're in their in their company that they're with you know what i'm saying I'd rather it be swift cr england klm whatever but guys there's a flip side there's a flip side to that 
people are making money. The reason why you ain't, the reason why you ain't, is because you got poor money management. Your poor money management, you got you got a car payment, you, you know what I'm saying, you owe money to this person, you gotta rob Peter to get a Paul. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you live that type of life, then yeah, you, uh, any company you go to is gonna suck, and you're gonna be chasing that dollar, and you're gonna be upset, you're gonna be mad, you're gonna be angry. I stay away from people like that. If you ain't positive, and you ain't making, if you, <laughs> look, I know you ain't gonna, you're not gonna be a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? driving a truck but yes you know there are other ways you can be a millionaire right but you know what i'm saying and on the other on the greater business side of things but anyways i get that yeah you know what i'm saying but to say that you don't make any money at your company rather it be prime or rather it be swift or whatever it's ridiculous it's ridiculous you ain't making no money now people are there are people out there in your company making a killing you know what I'm saying? But see, you the thing is about you, you ain't willing to do the work. You ain't willing to put in the I gotta look at the camera right in the right in the eye. You ain't willing to put in the work. You see what I'm saying? You ain't really putting the work. You ain't trying to be no trainer. You ain't trying to recruit nobody. You ain't trying to do nothing but drive a truck by yourself and, and go home every two weeks. You you get life don't go like that. Life ain't about rainbows and unicorns and 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 la 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 la. I go home and then you try to come home and you gotta you try to get a check and you ain't got no other business going on beside that. <laughs> of course your life's gonna suck. You know what I'm saying? But hey, look, listen, you game. So if you really want to succeed at any company, you gotta do what it takes, man. You really gotta do what it takes. Listen to me. You gotta do what it takes. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Cause you can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Somebody tell you, man, you should become a trainer. Man, I don't know, man. You know, what if they fall asleep at the wheel? I'm just so scared they had. Man, you was a trainee at one point in time. You was on somebody's truck. You mean tell me you were scared of yourself? Man, you gotta understand, people are just like you when they first started. They were just like you, just like you when they started. Yeah, some were a little bit worse, some were a little bit better, right? Some people have had experience before they got on the truck. Some people didn't have no experience. But, you know, you 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 learn to talk to them. You got to learn how to talk to people. That's the problem. With, you don't know how to talk to people. That's your problem. All you truck you don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to sit them down and tell them boundaries. And you don't, and then you want to be, when you do become a trainer, and you want to quit becoming a trainer is because you don't know how to you don't know how to talk to people. You want to get aggravated. You want to get mad. You want to yell at the person. And you know your the trainee is getting upset. He's already like he's new. He don't he don't he don't know how it feels to be connected to a person in a six by six box. You know what I'm saying? Office space about this big, living space about this big. They don't understand that. They don't understand that. So you gotta talk to them politely, man. And you gotta know how to talk to people. I know I'm going off subject. I really didn't have a subject. But anyways, I'm just talking off the brain right by now. But, you know, you really got, at the end of the day, you got to do what it takes, man, in order to make it work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I have, I'm looking to become a trainer again. You know what I'm saying? So, you just got to know how to work with people. You got you to gotta know how to work with them. If you don't know how to work with them, then training may not be for you. And you also cannot complain about not making money. All right? Because just because you might think it ain't working for you, it's working for somebody else. And it's working marvelously. Mar it's beautifully. It ain't working for you because you ain't trying to learn people skills. You ain't on YouTube. You ain't reading a book. You ain't. You don't know how to talk to people. And when you talk to people, you got people running away from you because you you sound like a uh, you sound like a person who don't want to be around nobody. You know what I'm saying? So and that's you. That's cool. If that's you, that's cool. Not everybody is gonna be like, like how they should be. You know what I'm saying? Which is positive, respectful, and like, uh, you know, head down and trying to get get to the money, right? Nobody, not everybody's gonna do that. Somebody, just for example, somebody's gotta flip that burger. Somebody's gotta take the money for the, you know, be a cash register, cash cashier. Somebody gotta be the president. Somebody gotta drive that truck by themselves. Somebody's got to be a trainer. People's got to learn. People have to learn. Some people just don't want to learn. Which one are you? You not you not trying to learn, or you want to be a person who's trying to learn, who's trying to be the best that they can be? Because yeah, you got to make sacrifices. 
you're gonna have to bite your tongue you're gonna have to you know close your mouth and, and, li and listen to somebody else talk you know what i mean trying to butt in when somebody's trying to talking that's that's not how you that's not how you talk to people listen listen man it's easy but you gotta have people skills man and i, I you know i think really truckers we need we need we need help i am be honest with you guys i'm gonna be real serious you gotta look right in the face us as truck drivers we need help we need help with communication a lot of our people a lot of our truck drivers don't come from a, a sales background uh, you know a college background or you know a place where they have to use people skills you know a lot of these people are, are running away from something they're you know <laughs> they don't come from good backgrounds and I believe we should have classes we should have stuff set up to help them become people person because you know becoming a people person I believe will help out the trucking industry in a whole they'll help people look at us differently you know and we have to carry ourselves differently we can we gotta stop looking like this man we gotta stop looking like how you know I believe in the new generation of truckers uh, of, I believe in the new generation of truckers because they are looking different you know these people nowadays the young guys they're coming they're coming into the trucking with a different mindset you know they want to work hard they want to lift weights while they're working they want to do more because now nowadays the truck got so much space got all this electronic stuff on here you know radios ac like you know what i mean these young guys you know what i mean like me we get to experience stuff like that some of the old guys never even got to experience because they were driving trucks with no power steering no ac you know a day cab going otr in a day cab you know these guys were you know these these were the backbones of the economy but you know a lot of these guys man they just you know that's why i feel like you know i feel like right now that's why the how should i say this politely i'm like the death the death um uh, age for the truck drivers is like around what, what like 55 and 65 or something like that in between that gap it's because you know the old way just were, really weren't working but i feel like the new way you know you got people like me taking like stuff like this you got people like me taking like stuff like this on the truck the ninja you got people that's that's bringing dumbbells on the truck and these are the new drivers you know what i'm saying you got stuff like youtube promoting the stuff snapchat tiktok you know promoting like working out and these are the new generation of truckers you know what i mean so you know it's, it's a whole lot of new information going on that that hasn't been passed um you know with the with the older generation and uh big shout out to the older generation because you guys paved the way for us you know to do what we do today and you guys are still doing what you're doing you know i see you guys i know some of you guys been out I know some of you guys have been out here for like you know 30 40 years you know 20 30 40 years i know i know i personally know some of you guys and so uh i appreciate you man you know at the same time we got to appreciate all these new drivers coming in because these guys are going to be like you know you got to think about how kids are you know what i'm saying we're raising kids to be a gener the new generation of this world and so each one teach one and the last thing we want to do is spread negativity to an industry that, that, that spread negativity that an industry that we're all a part of you know what I'm saying? It's like talking. It's like talking bad against your own race. It's like me being black, and I'm like, man, I'm on, I'm on YouTube, or I'm on somebody's comment, like, oh man, they don't make no money doing that. They don't make no money, and you, and you driving a truck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't make no sense. You are gonna talk bad about something you already doing, and you might think that nobody's making money in that situation. You know what I mean? But everybody's situation is different. You know what I mean? Like the reason why, like I said, the reason why you ain't making no money is because. You probably got you really got bad money management. If you can't manage a hundred dollars, how you gonna manage a hundred thousand dollars? So I mean, you know, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you know, uh, <laughs> you guys gotta watch, watch out, man. Gotta watch out for these negative people, man. There's a lot of negative people, especially in the trucking industry. I'll be real with you on that. There's a lot of negative people in, tr in the trucking industry, but there's also a lot of positive people in the trucking industry too, as well too. So you know, it's a it's it's a different it's a it's a demographic for everything. You know what I mean? It's a, so, you know, for every, you know, just cause somebody don't like Arby's, like me personally, I don't like Arby's, but you're not gonna catch me on they, on their, um, on their review page or, 
me going to their, I'm gonna type in Arby's and then go to their and put a bad review. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just not gonna go there. You know what I mean? Like, same thing with people. I feel like people should be like that with trucking. Like, if you think that somebody isn't doing well in, in some type of company, why are you gonna express that? Because on the flip side of that, somebody is doing well in that company. You just ain't. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm coming out like that because I got a comment on one of my videos talking about how somebody, how we ain't making money at Prime and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Say what you want, but your actions prove that you, that your comment just showing that you ain't, you ain't good with money. You ain't good with money there, Playboy. So you might want to just stop and chill, you know, and think about your, um, your spending habits. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much on the nutshell, man. You guys got to just stay positive, man. At the end of the day, stay, stay positive. Stay focused, man. You come in here with a plan. If you don't come here with a plan, you don't leave out here broke. So, and that's just what it is, man. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's life. That's life, man. Get your stuff together. Get your head together. Read some books. Learn how to talk to people. Get up in some place. Get up. It don't matter where you go to. It don't matter if you get out of prime and go work at a warehouse. If you want to, if you stuck at the basic, if you stuck at the line, if you stuck at the, at the beginning phase where you started it, then that's on you. That's on you. You don't want to grow. You don't want to be a you. Like I said, example, example at a warehouse. You stuck at a. You stuck on the line. You ain't. You ain't trying to be no forklift driver. You don't want to be a, a lead or a supervisor. That's on you. Then you're gonna be like, man, I ain't making no money. You that guy, man. It ain't paying us all of that. Well, you ain't trying to go up in the ranks, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So look. Yeah, man, we're going to, 2023, we're going to stop all that. Stop all that. Ain't nobody making money stuff. Stop all that negative stuff, man. Be positive, man. Be positive. You was negative last year. You was negative the year before that. You know what I'm saying? And your account negative. You just negative, bro. All around just negative. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you probably hang around negative people. And it's what it is. You know what I mean? There's, like I said, there's a lane for everything. And you're going to find what you're looking for. If you are that, then you will become it. If you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, there's a life for that. Life for everything. You know what I mean? You got to understand life is just, it's a, it's, it's more than what meets the eye of the individual. You know what I mean? Especially if you're on a, on a, on like a, on a level where, where you just don't know everything. Like you ain't a part of the CIA. You ain't in the area 51. Like you ain't in none of that. You then life is, is really small to you compared to what other real individuals know. You know what I'm saying? So Keep in mind, man. Keep in mind. Life is really just <clears throat> what you make it. This is really just, you know what I mean? Like, it's big, man. It's deep. It's deep. And I can have a, a full on. Attention. A new important message has arrived. I can have a full blown conversation about that. But I might have that later on in a video. I might I might try and do live. I might do some live videos later on in life. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We need to get them likes up. We need to get them likes up. And I'll start doing more. I'll start doing live videos. That way I know the people who are, people who pretty much like the video, I know they will show up for the live video. So like the video, hit that subscribe button, guys. You know, you know, man, keep it, you gotta keep it, you gotta be interactive if you still want more videos. You know what I'm saying? That's from any YouTuber, so. You gotta show support. Support is free on YouTube. I'm not asking for a dollar. I'm asking for you just to hit a button. You already hit the button to click this video. Now hit just another button right up under the video that says, that has the like button, hit the like button, thumbs up. You can hit thumbs down, whatever you want to hit. Don't even matter to me, honestly. To do something. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, I'm going to go over here and enjoy this ribeye steak. And uh, I think that's all I got for you guys for today, man. Stay positive. Stay away from people who are just negative. You know, and uh, guys, be great. That's all I got. Work in progress. I am out. Ow!